Hacienda Rivet here. Uh, today we're making some Somalian inspired uh, pitas uh, with goat meat and I'm going to use the Hawash seasoning spice uh, to flavor this. Uh, Hawash is the traditional uh, Somalian seasoning. Uh, I'm going to make it off camera because I've already made a video of that. You can look it up there and uh, I'm going to show you how we're going to cook the meat and make the pitas. So stick with me and I'll show you how it's done. What we're going to do to start out with is uh, we're going to dump all the meat into a uh, stock pot like this. Now that we got the uh, meat covered with water, uh, I'm going to add one chunked onion and a few uh, bay leaves. Okay, what we're going to do is bring this to a boil, uh, reduce it to simmer, and we're going to simmer it uncovered for about three four hours till the meat starts falling off the bone. I'm guessing three or four hours. Uh, we may have to add water as needed. Uh, meet me then. After four hours of simmering, uh, we've gone ahead and cooled the meat off and then I cut off the fat and it got rid of the bones. Uh, the broth that it was simmering in, I've reduced down and it's in the fridge. We're going to use that to make uh, lentils or rice or something with. Now, uh, for the meat, we're going to add three generous tablespoons of hawash spice, and uh, we're going to mix it up nicely and get it all coated. Then we're going to put it in a uh, Tupperware container and put it in the fridge overnight, and uh, then we'll make the uh, pitas uh, tomorrow. All right, so here it is the next day. We've got the uh, co uh, cooked goat meat with hawash on it, and uh, we're going to transfer that into this stainless bowl. And uh, we are going to pour over the juice of three limes. It's about a cup, okay, fresh squoze. Uh, mix them up well together, and we're going to let it marinate there for about 45 minutes to an hour while we uh, prep oh, the other sorry. ingredients. Sorry. What we have here is about a quarter cup of ghee uh, that we've got melting. Now that we got the um, ghee melted, we're going to add one large onion dice and we're going to start to saute that until it becomes softened. Once the onions start getting clear and translucent, we're going to add about a pound of uh, minced uh, mushrooms, okay? And we're going to cook these through and try to get most of the moisture uh, from the mushrooms evaporated. All right, and we're going to add one tablespoon of hawash spice to that uh, mix there. So join me back, it's going to be about 20 minutes over medium heat. Alright, it's been about 15 minutes and now the onions are completely translucent. Most of the uh, water has evaporated away. Uh, now we're going to add the marinated goat meat here that we've had in the uh, lime juice. And again, the goat's already cooked, you saw that earlier. All we're going to do is heat it through, okay? Once we heat it through, it's uh, ready to make the uh, pita. Now that uh, all the meat's heated through, uh, we're going to add um, about one cup of chopped up green olives. All right, here we're going to do is uh, stuff the pitas. Now I've sliced them open like this to create a pocket. And uh, we have, oops, spilled some here. We've got the meat over here on the side. And um, <clears throat> we're going to take some like this and gently fill the pocket with the meat. Okay. Now you don't need to see all the details, you pretty much know how. Once I got this filled, I'm going to show you what we're going to do. Now what we want to do is with some melted butter, we're going to um, butter both sides of the sandwich and then wrap it into a nice little package in um, uh, parchment paper. Okay, so we got uh, six of these pitas filled and we still have quite a bit left over. Now they're going uh, into a 350 degree oven for 45 minutes. All right, here you got the finished product. Really nice, came out. Look at nice how plump and fat, full of uh, goat meat and hawash. Uh, I sliced it in two to demonstrate the innards. Uh, traditionally, it's served with yogurt, and we've got a nice um, uh, Arabic-style chickpea salad with garden vegetables. And uh, here, the lime, what we're gonna do is squirt it over the pita, and there you have it, Somalian pita sandwiches. Thanks for watching, people. Sure do appreciate you. Bye-bye.